on their home floor back on the 15th of January. And then the announcement this morning that College Game Day will be coming back to Spokane next Saturday for their showdown with St. Mary's. They cannot overlook this Pepperdine team tonight. Tonight's starting lines brought to you by Numerica Credit Union. Pay bills, deposit checks, access your account 24-7 with digital banking at Numerica Credit Union. Afford a foul, Gonzaga, and put them at the line. Those keys brought to you by Northern Quest Resort and Casino. We're underway. Firestone Fieldhouse, Malibu, California, home of the Pepperdine Waves. And number 13, Gonzaga, with their show on the road. This is Nolan Hickman through Timmy now. Try to back it down, kick it out. Nolan, open three on the way. In and out, halfway down, and it popped out. Right away, you see a little help there. Digging into Timmy up in Spokane. Pepperdine elected to effectively let Timmy just go one-on-one. -on -one. He had 35. You can see the length of this Pepperdine team right from the get-go. There's the shot that's off from Carson Basham. But this is a long waves team. Hickman on the drive. Off the glass. Kicked out by Anton. Grabbed by Houston Millette. Millette now in a race. Straw through the block. Basham the follow. to nothing Pepperdine. Good effort from Basham. Don't assume the make. Big fella does a nice job running the floor. Cleans it up off the Strother block. Here's Hickman again. Strother, three on the way. Bang! Julian Strother from downtown. In the last two games, Strother, 10 of 18 from three. He is feeling about as good as he has all season from behind the three-point line. I tell you what, he's he's on another level right now from behind that line. And he shoots it so deep, it's really difficult to close out on him effectively. Mitchell, the leader inside. This Pepperdine team can score the ball, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Drew Timmy. Spins. Basham there. Kick out Hickman. He'll fire the three. Bingo! Nolan Hickman from downtown. Hickman shooting just three of 16 for three of the last seven games. You think we can help off of him, but we've seen it all year. You leave him that open, he's got the ability to knock down the three-point shot. Fast start offensively for the Zag from behind that three-point line. And they've earned the six to four start. Here's Millette probing the Zag defense. Shot on the way. Falls off. Cleared by Timmy. Drew leads the break. Roger Bolton. Bolton bounced to Timmy. Pass not quite on line. Chance for Pepperdine. Lewis. Did he travel? He stepped on that sideline. Give it back to Gonzaga. Maxwell Lewis. Richard. Impressive player sophomore out of Las Vegas but looks like a next level guy doesn't he? well he's a next level athlete at 6 7 200 pounds he's vertical uh, and he causes a lot of problems shot the ball really well in non-conference play but has struggled here in the league as Strother pulls up for another one almost goes down Porter with the rebound Timmy in the ball screen. He's there to hedge. There's no help on the weak side. Here's Strother. Mueller in. Bounce. Here's Timmy. Reverse. They can take the lead. Deep three on the way from Millette. Cleared by Strother. Some empty seats here to begin this game. Of course, we are in Los Angeles. They're famous for showing up late. We'll see if it fills up. Watson could move inside and finish. That's an area where he's just gotten better. Uh, even earlier in the year, that's just an automatic pass. He's looking for help over the last 10 or 12 games, really in conference play. He's now looking to score, to kind of close that gap and try to get the shot up on the rim. Mitchell skipped to the corner. This is Millette. Watson there to close off the baseline. 12 on the shot clock. Here's the rise, shot on the way, off. Strother clears it. Hickman with the catch. Bolton far side at three. Here's Watson inside. Basham, the rebound. Back to Pepperdine. Been an up and down start to this game. 
Millette's three, that one's good. Before the game, Millette spent a ton of time shooting a three-point shot from five different spots. That was one of them. Straw through to the post through Timmy. Looking for his first point. They're forcing the ball out of his hand, and there they force the travel. Turnover for Gonzaga, 15-39 to play in this opening. On defense, it's shooting better than 52% from the field. I think for Gonzaga, just slow it down and touch and make it a simple play. When they've done that, they've been able to get the ball inside to Timmy, and obviously Strother's knocking down the two-point shot right now. Incredible. But right now, Pepperdine with six rebounds to four for Gonzaga. That's got to change. There's Mitchell. Basham with Timmy right there. Basham with the smaller bolt on him. The spin kick to the corner. Lewis faked the three and drive. Left hand off the glass. Scores. Lewis 35% on the year for the three-point line. Just 24 in conference. But you've got to respect his ability. See Watson with the hard close out. And Lewis's ability to get around him and finish high by the rim. Great position. Anton Watson jump hook is good. 11-10. Watson's first bucket. Actually, second bucket. Two of three from the floor. Four points. And Anton thought he picked one off there. The official says, no, no, hold up now. That's his first personal foul. And that is number one on Gonzaga. Back there, first ball of this first half. Always important for the road team to take the blows from a home team early. Well, look, if you try to pull off an upset like Pepperdine is tonight, a big part of that is getting to a good, getting out to a good start. Uh, and they've certainly got to be happy with where they're at right now. But Gonzaga's weathered it well. This is Malik Moore, number three on the floor. Millette now with it. Jan Zedek, number 31, out there as well. Lewis for three. That's off. Sprother, six foot seven, high for the rebound. Hunter Salas on the floor for Gonzaga. Through Timmy. Jan Zedek. It's been a Pepperdine for like a decade. Jump hook. Actually, that was a sky hook for Timmy, wasn't it? Didn't go though. Lewis, the spin. Timmy, the help. The dump, loose ball. Zedek picked it up. Back to Lewis. And he traveled. Maxwell doesn't agree with the call. A lot of scouts in this building tonight, Richard, to watch Maxwell Lewis and Julian Strother and the matchup between those two. About as two, as talented a pair of wings, uh, perimeter players you're going to see on the West Coast. And, you know, at the college level, you just don't see these types of matchups all that often. Those are all scouts up there. We've told as many as 50 here today to this game. Through Timmy. Jan Zedek pass inside. Watson the drive. And Anton will shoot free throws. Lorenzo Romar does not like the call, but clearly contact. The question is, is Porter vertical? Good cut here. Porter's deep. Tries to get back and there's the sure. rebound. Not sure. <laughs> that was an icy look I got just got from my shirt. Making sure we're sure watching the same game. That's all. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> That's, it was clearly a foul. No question about it. 100%. Anton now with five points, two of three on the floor, and a free throw. Tied at 11. Zedek clears the miss. Jan Zedek, Father George, won a national championship at UCLA back in 1995 when Lorenzo Romar was an assistant on that team. Lewis, boy, he's shifty. Here's Moore, got a pin. Seven on the shot clock. Lewis, a bit off balance. Millette now the drive. Two on the clock. Oh, what a finish. Count the bucket and a foul. Good defense for Gonzaga. They had him, Richard. Well, deep into the clock. Remember that kind of scrambling offensively. You see Millette. Tough finish there. Gets fouled. And that's the size for Pepperdine. Lewis 6'7. Millette 6'5. Porter 6'11. So on and so forth. 
It's just a long team that can make those types of plays late in the clock. Alette, three-point play. He's got six of Pepperdine's 14 points. They're up by three. Hunter Salas back to Timmy. Great catch by Drew in the finish now. I'll tell you what, Drew's not going to mesmerize you with his speed or his ability to hands. run the floor, but those hands and feet to finish there, impressive. Yeah, ball gets tipped, he still finds a way to finish. Lewis to the high post and tied up by Strother, his quarter, but possession arrow favoring Pepperdine. Well, here's the ball screen, Salas. You see the ball's tipped there by Millette. Salas has been good all year. 41 assists, only 18 turnovers coming into tonight. But to your point, Greg, those that's, hands. That's really good. A deflection for a touchdown. Maybe a tight end in the future for Drew Timmy. Here's Malachi Smith. And he is stripped on his way to the rim by Malik Moore. It's Gonzaga's ball right now, but then Pepperdine bench wanting him to look at it. I think Interesting to see a replay. Thought that went off of Smith's feet. Oh, that shot right there by Julian Strother. He makes it look so easy, Richard. Tell us how hard that shot is. It's really difficult. You've got to find the balance when you're still moving towards the rim to have that touch. And you typically wanted to try to finish over a shot blocker. He's really added that to his game here in the second half of the year. Well, how about that defense by Watson? But again, Javon Porter scored anyway. We got a battle brewing in Malibu without our buddy Dan Dickow. Dan sent down to the minors. Need a little extra work. Timmy's jump hook baseline through Timmy. Heating up. He's got four. If you're not going to double Timmy. He's just going to do that to you every time down the floor. Millette rides on Hunter Salas. Zedek thought about the three and now Lewis on the baseline against two sags. Oh, the charge is called. Great defense and guess who it was standing there waiting for Lewis. To the officials as we went to commercial break. Also upset a moment ago on the possession that was given to Gonzaga on that run out by Malachi Smith and the, the subsequent strip. He thinks that went off of Smith. Should have been Pepperdine ball. Ben Greg on the floor for GU. Smith with it. Now Drew Timmy. Julian Strother. Here's Drew Timmy. Spins baseline on Moore. Skip to the corner. Smith's free. Short. Kicked out. And another chance for GU. And again, Lorenzo Romar upset. Wanted a whistle. Strother's three. Short. And Smith ran it down in the corner. He got in the lane. And a foul call on Malachi Smith. Is that a makeup call, Richard? <laughs> oh, man. Smith kind of probing here. Millet, that's... I'm not sure there. It's uh, just more, added, you know, more evidence to uh, the, the, the cause here. Let's just get rid of that call in college basketball. Yeah, I'm just uh, wondering, you know, this flop rule and the call it's I know it's an evolution yeah, look, but I'm more confused today by it there was very little contact there all right jump shot back to the game the left jump shot Pepperdine in front let's be good here eight points here Malachi trying to get it to through Timmy Reflection out of play. The officials look at one another, and it's Gonzaga ball. 18 on the shot clock. Pepperdine has brought great intensity to the start of this game. Well, they've, been, they really, they've been really active it. defensively. I mean, watch when Timmy's trying to get post position. Watch the weak side or the help side defender under the basket. They're just waiting to shoot the gap and try to steal the entry pass. Strother looked at the clock. He's got six. The drive, scoop, good. Julian Strother with seven. Just his ability now just to balance his game. Not, you know, not so rely on the three-point shot. Last two games, 11 free throws attempted for Julian. So he's putting foul pressure on defenses. Step back. Porter's three. Bangs through. 
such a difficult matchup with that leg. So skilled. He's guarding Ben Gregg now on the post. Smith missed Timmy. Drew wanting the ball. Here's Hunter. Hunter probing. Gave it back to Malachi. Now Drew Timmy with 10 on the shot clock. Julian. Again. Found a little crease and a kiss off the glass. It's such a quick release as well. He doesn't need a long time to get it up and right there, the ability to get it off the glass. Strother with nine. Probably winking at the scouts here to begin this game in Malibu. Millette. Over Smith. Big time bucket, Houston Millette. And that's good defense, and that's a strong defender in Smith. It's hard to get Smith off his spot. Drew Timmy into the lane. Missed it. Millette with it. Drew wanted a foul, doesn't get it. Millette transition three. Bingo. Pepper 64.7%. Blistering. Yeah, it, Gonzaga offensively, you know, you've got three turnovers, but you've assisted on six of your nine field goals attempted. You've just got to shore things up a bit on both ends, but this is a Pepperdine team that has come to play tonight. Malachi Smith right down the lane, the easy bucket there. Malachi in the scorebook. 26-23. The one thing we've learned about this Gonzaga team this year, they will not get rattled. They've been in so many tight games throughout this season. On the road, at home, they are battle tested. Gonzaga falls back in the zone, confuses Pepperdine. Strother three, rimmed out. Ben Gregg chasing it down, got it. Second extra possession Gregg has gotten from Gonzaga, just being active on the offensive glass. Lewis guarding Timmy inside. Hunter Salas fouled by Porter. And that is number two on Porter. Salas will shoot free throws when we come back live from Malibu. What's happening in the new NBA app? What isn't happening? What? Now the official, I don't know what's official. The stats in-house say that Anton Watson has two personal fouls. The stat broadcast that we're watching here at our desk only has him for one. Anton back on the floor. Not sure if he has two or one. I have to assume he has one. Under Salas. I'm going to go one, two. 7.50 to play in this opening half. Hot start offensively for both teams. Mitchell, here's a lot. Back to Missed the catch. Uh, you love the set though against that zone. It's a great time. Great, great play to try to lift the zone up the floor. And it's an athlete like Lewis. Uh, he just missed the ball. I bet with 50 scouts watching. That's six. I'd have gotten a ladder out of it. I would have done what I needed to do. Ball for attorney. Here's Strocker the drive. Julian. With 11, he's in double digits. Julian's liking himself. L.A. And about as aggressive as we've seen in a long time, Julian has been just attacking the ring, putting his head down, and just going. Lewis. There's more. Lewis cutting. But again, the deflection. Basham keeps it alive for Pepperdine. Eight on the shot clock. Here's more. Free throw line jumper is good. And that's a big shot for Pepperdine. Moore steps up and knocks it down. Just not looking comfortable with Pepperdine against that zone. Nearly turned it over. Moore's first bucket waves up by a point. There's Anton Watson. High low. Greg, Greg with the catch. Batson took it away from behind. No whistle. Lewis. Down the lane, scoop shot, falls off, put back, good! By Jalen Petrie, number two. Petrie, right place, right time. We've got three zags just watching Lewis on the drive. Nobody looks to block him out. Pepperdine now with a three-rebound advantage, and Julian Strother has come to play again tonight. He's got 13. Tough, tough take. Oh, a perfect five of five inside the arc. Thank <laughs> you. 
Petrie, here's Moore. Basham on the post. Zags there defensively. Nine on the shot clock. Mitchell into the corner. Lewis fakes the three. Drive on Watson. And the block called on Anto. We believe that's his second. And that'll get him out of the game. Drew Timmy will be checking in. Well played game here. Physical, but not a lot of foul. Both teams are just required to be Pepperdine with three. Gonzaga with four. Fashion the catch. Hickman defending the ball. Here's Malik Moore. Roger Bolt back on the floor for Gonzaga. Maxwell Lewis stepped back over Ben Gregg. That's off. Kicked around. Grabbed by Mitchell. Another chance for Pepperdine. Moore free throw line jumper way off. Long rebound to Bolt. And, you know, if you're Lewis, you can get that shot off as Strother just steps up. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, boy. Bolton with the explosion down the floor. Oh. Julian, a simple trail. The catch. Oh. And bingo. Go get yourself another 40. Lewis, step back three. We got a show, and he's fouled by Nolan Hickman. Nolan with disbelief looking at the officials. Coach View is asking for the same call at the other end. Here's the three on the other end. The Bolton does a great job of kind of shielding more and getting to the spot on the floor where Strother is going to lift up and knock down the three point shot. Zaga doesn't like this call. But the same. fact, Richard, that Julian can stop and when he's still run, almost at full go, can stop and elevate straight up and connect. Impressive shot. He's been, look, he's on his way to a third straight game with over 20. I mean, you know, it, it takes time. Yeah. I mean, think about college basketball at the moment. How many truly impactful freshmen are there? Not very many. And so the, the reason I bring that up is you know, it takes time in the guy's career. It's, it feels like we're seeing that change for Julian all of a sudden where the, the inconsistencies going away and yeah. we're starting to understand every night what he can do. Yeah, Drew's got a true wingman right now. Lewis. And it makes it that much more difficult to defend Gonzaga when you've got a true option on the perimeter and a guy like Drew on the inside. You can't just tailor your defense to slow down to the inside. Well, and it's hard to double Drew the entire game. Here's Drew with the ball. Lost it on the inside. No whistle. Gonzaga bench wanting a foul there. Here's Maxwell Lewis. Bolton chasing. Lewis lost it on the way up. And foul called on Rajir Bolton. That is team foul number seven on Gonzaga. Lewis puts so much foul pressure on you when he puts the ball down and looks to attack the rim. Even when you're there and you're bonding him up, he's strong enough to absorb that contact and stay on his line. Let me correct that. Team foul number six. Lewis will shoot two here. Coach Feud talking things over with the official. Three point Pepperdine lead. A little press here from Pepperdine. Is this a little pressure? Julian. Bounce. Give me the catch. Through Batcham and scores. Here's Millet. Basham at the high post. Basham with the catch. Missed it. Got it back. Up. Missed it again. Ben Gregg the rebound and a whistle and a foul call. And that's on Ben Gregg. Late whistle there on the putback. Gregg gets Basham, the official says, on the wrist. But that's a really late whistle. Let's take another look. Good defense. Timmy stays long enough to let Strother get back in. Basham misses the first money. And here, I'm not sure about that, Gregg. That's I don't I don't get it. I don't I look, look confused. I didn't make the call. You don't look at me like that. <laughs> well, it's not my icy. Call. It's icy over here, courtside. <laughs> 35-34. Carson Basham, a sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona. 6'10", 240. Nolan Hickman controls the miss. Under four to play in this opening half. 
Got a great first half offensively. Each Roger Bolton, sweet jump shot. Uh, just, he just plays at his own speed. Been really consistent. And that's where it gets, it's not just Stroth and Watson. Bolton, last three games, averaging 16 a game. Just steady on that end of the floor. The lead on the far side. Out of bounds. And he did step out of bounds. So that is turnover number seven for Pepperdine. 332 to play this year for Gonzaga. You're playing for a whole lot more than just that. Trying to stay in the league race and obviously some seeding come March. Pepperdine has not scored a point in the last two minutes and 51 seconds. And yet the Zags lead by just one. Here's Roger Bolton to the post. Ben Gregg working on Petrie. Jump up too far. That's off of Pepperdine. Gonzaga ball 16 to shoot. On contact there, but it's Gregg. He's got to, he's got to bring something a little stronger on that play. Here's Julian. Nolan Hickman. Routine. We'll shoot three throws. Through three of seven in the game, six points. These will be his first in the line. Two rebounds, two assists for Drew. It's really hard to encapsulate sometimes, I think, how good Drew Timmy has been in this program. I mean, you can argue this is, you know, if you take Stockton out of the mix, this is the best player that I can have. The best career. Yeah, I think it, if you're talking about career, it's not just his stats, but what he's done. I'm not talking about potential no, next no, level, I, I, all that I, I stuff. No, no, right? no, but you think of guys like Pangos and Elias who were here for four years. John they're Perkins. All, they're all over yeah, yeah. This, you know, the, the records. But it's to me, it's not just Drew's ability, but rather his accomplishments getting up these leaderboards, but it's what he's done in the NCAA tournament. Nine games, 23 points, and eight rebounds, plus shooting at a high clip, and he's been in tremendous in some of those games. And in range now to break the all-time scoring record, of course, held by the great Frank Burgess. Here's Lewis, open three, the tie. Maxwell Lewis, good not a great shooter, but a good one. Yeah, well, he shot a great clip in non-conference. It's just struggled here down the stretch, but that's good action from Pepperdine away from the ball. Zedek sets a ball screen, a little handoff with Basham. Drew Temme. Drew Basham. How about that move and the toughness? That's just, I'm stronger than you. That's all that move is. Stronger, I'm better. Well, this is not bad defense from Basham. He holds his ground initially, but you see the strength. And Timmy goes right through. I think sometimes Drew gets caught up trying to draw the foul. And right there, he still gets his foul, but he's just looking to score. Drew now two of three from the line. His free throw shooting much better of late. It's got him up over 61% now in the season. Last four games, nearly 70% from that free throw line. There's Zedek, the handoff. Millette to bash and bounce. Oh, Strother called for the fouls. That ball was headed out of play off of Zedek. And that is team foul. That is number eight on Gonzaga. So at least a free throw coming here with 2.19 to play in this opening half. Jan Zedek, 6.3 points a game, hits the front end, a couple of rebounds. Well, he played a ton last year. You know, that was a team that went winless in conference play, averaged 13 a game. He's accepted a, a more limited role with Basham and Porter in the mix, but he's he's steady when he gets the plays. He knocks down the free throw last couple of games, averaging 12 a game. So he can score coming off that bench in the right situation. Nolan Hickman brings the ball up. Mitchell guarding. Left really overplaying Stroth. Oh, the ball. Just going to say that. Julian with it. Drew Timmy took a shot to the nose from Zedek unintentionally, but nonetheless to the head on the way by. And so I think the officials will probably take another look at this to see if it warrants a flagrant. Tied at 40, buck 59 to play in the first half. Drew Timmy, though, took that shot to the chin like he's a prize fighter. 
Can't knock this guy out. Look, I, what I don't understand, why do you need to look at that again? Live, you saw exactly what happened. I mean, that's clearly inadvertent. Zedek doesn't know he's there. He's trying to clear out and stay in defensive position. You can elect to call a flagrant two here if you want, but the need to take 60, 90, 120, 20 minutes to make that decision, I don't understand. Help me here. Well, intent doesn't matter. I'm looking matter. to you to make me feel better about that. Well, you're in Malibu. Okay. The beach is right down the okay. road. Okay. Right? We got a beautiful basketball game being displayed okay. in front Thank of us. I, I, Thank feel you. good, Richard. I feel better now. Thank Big you. smile. I mean, Drew could have taken a shot, could have broke his nose. But it, things are good. Okay. Things are really good. They've looked at it. Now they're going to discuss it. <laughs> and Richard. Rich, Come on, Rich, guys. <laughs> Richard. Come on. Okay. Flagrant one. Flagrant one has been called, so a free throw of the ball. Not about intent. That was a shot to the cheek. You're disgusted. Why? Because it took a couple of minutes? Uh, it's just the delay in the game, but also it's just it's an inadvertent play. You know, he's not making a play. Even if, if you're making a play on the ball and you hit a guy in the face, even though you're not intending to hit him in the face, you're making a basketball play and you... He committed a foul. The guy's just clearing out. He had no idea Tim is there. I just think you have to have some discretion. If it's an automatic flagrant foul, if somebody gets hit in the chin. Oh, and Lorenzo's hot again. And he's exa saying the exact same thing. He didn't even know he was there. They look, I, they, they, I, the officials are calling this to the letter of the law, and that's fine. It's, a, it's an issue with the rule. What do you apply to be on the news today? I'm going to find out. Why. Well, you got some downtime. <laughs> I'm not busy at all. I'd, I'd make time just to change that and change the charge block call. And then, no, and the, then flop call, the flop call. The flop call's got to get changed. That too. <laughs> like, you know, they'll never change the block for charge. And Drew Timmy. Four of five now from the free throw line. Malachi, deep three on the way. Bingo! Sags up by five. That's tough. Pepperdine, give up the free throws. And right there, Smith steps up with a bunch of confidence and knocks it down. That was Julian Strother range by Malachi Smith. Here's Lewis dumping it off to Basham, who wasn't ready. He was turned and headed for a rebound. Yeah, Lewis is so athletic that he can make plays always in fifth gear. You know, shift down right there. You, you've already gotten the action you want. Strother's off of you. Just slow down, get in the fourth gear, and deliver a pass that Basham can actually make a play on. That's just, it's coming too hot. There's Malachi for three. Heat check short. Lewis the rebound. Waves down by five with the ball as we near the one minute mark of this opening half. Mitchell has reached around and picked up personal foul number one. And those watching that are Zag fans will be happy to know that Dan Dickow watching our broadcast here this evening. He's on he's on duty up in Moraga tonight. I mentioned that he was in the minor leagues. You know, we know we know there's nothing minor there's, about Dick Al. There's nothing wrong with him, right? No. <laughs> you know, just so you know. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with it at all. And sometimes, you know, a little extra work is good for you. So we miss you, Dan. Zedek out. Petrie back in for Pepperdine. Good minutes from Zedek. Just a couple points, but, you know, threw his weight around in there. And Basham knocks it down, 56% free throw shooter stepped up there. And Carson Basham with six points in this opening half. Three point game, Strother, the quiet of late, but not quiet in the game, certainly with 16. And Hunter Salas, hello, and bingo. Mitchell gets caught, ball watch, and Salas with a great back cut. And he could finish. Zags back up by five, Mitchell to the corner. Here's Millett, hand off to Lewis. He'll drive, throw it to Petrie, and the two-handed flush. No offensive foul call, no bucket. There's the turn. Fans don't like the call, but honestly, Lorenzo Romar not too upset. Oh, I 
He's, he's flabbergasted at this point, buddy. <laughs> he's trying not to just completely lose it. We'll get another look here. Here's the drive from Lewis. And I, I just don't like it. He's, he's landed already. That's a flop from Timmy. That, he's literally passed the ball. He has landed back on the ground. Hey, Lorenzo wasn't upset. I think he's counting 100. Malachi with seven to go. Julius Strother. Oh! And he's fouled! How about that shot? Lorenzo can't believe it. He's in dismay. But a chance for four for Strother to close out this opening half. Are you kidding me? Off balance. Contact. Deep three. Bang! Julian with 19 points, he could make it 20 here with 3.2 to go. Left it short. Basham shot at the horn. What a first half in Malibu. Zags hit four of their last five. Pepperdine goes without a field goal for the... This team is elevating, I think, Richard, at the right time of the year. They're getting better. They, they are getting better. Bolton and Watson, particularly, I mean, they, they know their rules. They've been consistent. It's Strother. That's the story. Is that he's turned a corner now. Timmy got away with a hook there, but scored with a left hand. You saw the hook. I, I did. Oh, you did. I was, I was told I can't talk about the fishing anymore. <laughs> oh, that was you. That's right. Thanks up by Ted Lewis to drive. The finger roll is good, back to eight. He covers so much ground when he attacks the rim and his ability to elevate right at it. Oh, how about that? That's unbelievable. So fast and fluid. He gets, it's like, I mean, I'm not trying to get weird, but it's like a dancer. I mean, his feet, you know, he gets, what's <laughs> back up going there. one way and just with those, with that, with those feet, just able to spin out of that. It would have to be a square dancer. He's from Texas. <laughs> Lewis now trying to back in on Strother. Timmy there to help. Skip. Far side. Millette the drive. Hangs. And can't hit. These are important minutes for Pepperdine here in this opening of the second half. Bounce. Here's Anton Watson to Timmy. And the flush through Timmy. How about the tickle of the stash? He doesn't do it, Richard. <laughs> well... Strother strong with the ball coming off that ball screen Drops it off to Watson and just a nice extra pass Lewis nice dump with the back Good offense well, who, can, who can string some stops together? Timmy again running And laying up and down we go No resistance with the ball well, And no excuse for that if you're Pepperdine That's off a made basket You need to have somebody get back Mitchell, the rise for three. Mike Mitchell Jr., sophomore from San Jose, California. 58 49. Mitchell now with five points. Bolton lines up the three. That's off. Ball loose. Grabbed by Julian. Mitchell trying to take it away from behind. And possession arrow. Gives it to Pepperdine. <laughs> left with the basketball. Lewis thought about going back for on that baseline. Here's Javon Porter. And now Mitchell Jr. He got a pin. Got it to bash. Hand off Millette. Blocked by Julian Strother. Picked up by Porter. Missed it. Strother. A beast on the boards right now. Strother's second block of the night as well. And now to the rim. Julian. Bash and stopped him. Strother wanted to foul. Doesn't get it. Mitchell. Skipped to the corner. Millette. Got Hickman in the air. And now try to back him in. And Lewis, three and away. Bang! 
Maxwell Lewis. Now with 15. Just a breakdown there defensively. Lewis all by himself on the wing. And Don Watson the drive and free throws coming. Foul called on Javon Porter, and that's his third. Lewis gets left alone on the three-point line and knocks it down. Anton Watson for the line for the Bulldogs. And Anton going to the line. He's a 61% shooter. Missing the front end long. There was a, a great quote in the Drew Timmy podcast with Coach Few talking to Anton and Drew about their free throw shooting. And Coach Few said that they both had hit rock bottom. <laughs> Six point game, Lewis transition three. Anton clears the miss. Now we had a stoppage of play here. Is Strother limping or? Julian is replaced. Either way, I believe. No, he's going to stay in the game, is he? Yeah, maybe he did turn an ankle or something. He's trying to shake it off. The officials gave him a moment. Six-point game, Gonzaga basketball. Anton Watson. There's Julian. A little stutter step. He's got pinned. Foul Bolton. Rogers three. Anton up high, but can corral it. Pepper nine basketball down by six. Now let me be careful here. 16.07 to go. It's down to six. They've got the basketball. This is the time of the game you want to extend your lead, not give it up. Yeah, if you're Pepper nine, this is trust your offense. Move the ball, get it to the guys you want to have it at the spots where they need to be. Don't take a tough shot if you can avoid it. And Javon Porter staying on the floor for Lorenzo Romar with those three fouls. Maxwell Lewis going to work. Left hand. There's a finish over Timmy. Oh, man. He could score with either hand in that paint area. Drew again at Basham. Millette there to help. Shot up. And count it. A chance for three for Drew Timmy. Whoa. That's just pure toughness. Back at the line. Four or five for the game. Five or five here in the second half is Timmy. Missed the free throw. Malik Moore on the floor for Pepperdine number three. This is Millet with it. And not Lewis. Jan Zedek now with the basketball. Timmy out defending. Picked up the dribble. Needs help. Almost a five count. Moore. Eight on the shot clock, back to Zedek, three on the way. That's all. Oh, high in the air for the rebound. It won't go. Lewis had a chance. Nolan Hickman. Watson. Thought about high low. Defense is there. Julian. Three on the way. That's off. And Millet the rebound. Julian, 8 of 13 shooting. Here's Zedek with a catch. And he dumps it through. Confusion there between Hickman and Timmy. It looked like Zedek was going to set a high ball screen. He just slipped it. And nobody went with him on the roll. Gonzaga, 5 of 9 in this half. Pepperdine, 6 of 12. Raj Bolton, Timmy. Pass. Flush. Drew Timmy with 24. What a pass. Back to six. Zedek. Lewis trying to get over it. Zedek couldn't get up the basketball. Millette now the drive. Left hand blocked by Watson. It'll be Pepperdine ball with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Millette wanted a whistle there. But this is a great block by Watson. Who stays with it. This is what he can do defensively. You don't get nervous when he has to switch out onto a perimeter player. He's so good with his feet. And then right there uses his length to block the shot. Then he almost strips Zedek for a run out. 
Seven on the shot clock. Lewis and Hunter Salas. Here's a matchup. Lewis, the drive, in and out. It's loose. Porter got it back, dumps it through. Four-point game. Eight offensive rebounds now for Pepperdine. Salas down under the stanchion here. He's hurt. Trainer for Gonzaga over to take a look. A lot of bodies under that basket on the offensive rebound. I did not see what happened to Hunter. Coach Q and Roger Powell handed over to take a look at number five. Hunter, four points, one rebound, one assist in this game. Holding the back of his neck. Looks like he's going to be okay. Let's take another look here. Well, he's a little friendly fire. It looked like Anton hit him in the shoulder there. I just wonder if it was the, the reverberation from being hit like that. Hard to tell from that angle. Let's see one more time here. Good contest. He's just backing in. And, uh, he might just fit the bump from Watson. Just kind of jarred up it. Is that a stinger? Is that a stinger in football? Yeah, it could be a stinger. What was that with this, this type of injury? You know. I, so I'm looking for some guys. Uh, you know, I, I so wish the audience could see the photograph of I have of Richard <laughs> trying to get in the car today on the way to the game. Uh, we literally have a pixie mobile that we rented uh, from Toys R Us. Let's just say watch this seven foot guy <laughs> trying to bend himself up to get in. It was uh, incredible. Strother tipped out by Watson. More with it for Pepperdine. Shot on the way. Watson high for the rebound. Pepperdine could have cut it to two or one with a three. Timmy, the catch, and a foul called on Pepperdine. C Deck doesn't agree. And Drew may have gotten away with a push off. We get another look. He may have pushed Z Deck from behind to try to create space. Nonetheless, play on. Drew. And see the there's the offensive foul. That last little bump with his shoulder. Well, it looks like his elbow gets extended there a bit. You know, Zedek does a good job holding his ground in here, this last one. You know, you take two, three bumps as a defender there. At some point, you're going to see them try to bait the official with the charge. Not liking it, Greg? No. Nope. Under 13 to go. Four-point game. Lewis. This is Petrie back on the floor for Pepperdine. Now Malik Moore. They're trying to get it to Lewis. Defense is there. Millette's three is off. Timmy with the rebound. Pepperdine started hot from downtown. They're two of six this half. They've cooled off a bit from behind the line. Watson's jump hook. Anton was seven. That's just not something he was looking to do to start the year. Nice, simple move there on the low block. Maxwell Lewis. Step back from the corner. Touch Julian Strother with the ball. It sure was. You know, I think that might be a, just a, a shot of frustration. Lewis is obviously trying to be a big part of this offense. They haven't been able to get him the ball where he wants it. Finally gets his hands on it. Just puts up a tough one. Jimmy, here's Anton. He's got great position on the smaller Malek. Tip back. By Timmy and an offensive foul on Drew Timmy. And that's number three on Drew with 11.58 to play in Mountains. You don't want to fall in love with a three point shot. And then if you're Gonzaga, Timmy with the three fouls here, you know, you're going to have to weather those fouls through the next three to four minutes. Where are you at the next media timeout? That would be at eight minutes. Here's the drive. But oh, Ben Gregg fell for the foul from behind. You know, Greg, Greg, Greg has not scored 
Just one rebound as we see the foul trouble for both teams. Porter and Zedek inside for Pepperdine with three. Timmy with three. But it's the activity level, activity level for Greg. You know, he's just an active body. He tipped one out earlier in the first half, came up with another offensive rebound. Those are the types of minutes they need from him, particularly when someone like Timmy or Watson has foul trouble. Lewis, his first miss from the free throw line. He's now five of six tonight. Keep in mind, Gonzaga has beat Pepperdine 44 consecutive times, 19 in a row here on this floor. Have to go back to 2002, the last time that Pepperdine defeated Gonzaga. Yeah, that was a kickoff team, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I wonder, is he in the middle of his pregame prep or is he listening? We'll find out here. Yeah, there'll be a text shortly. All right, five point. Nolan Hickman. Down on the baseline, needs help. Got it to Malachi Smith. Malachi, skip pass, Ben Gregg to heave. Oh, I thought he hit it. And the shot clock violation. Pepperdine basketball, Gonzaga up by five. And now the Zags need their defense. Well, that, that, that's the best defensive possession for Pepperdine. They're active, multiple recoveries. You force a shot clock violation. That's where they're going to win the game if they could find a way to do it. They have to get enough of a clip, but you need to slow Gonzaga down. Zedek banging in the Strother spins, left it for Petrie. Pepperdine moves it around. Mitchell fires the three. That's off. Ball poked around, and Petrie's over the back. It's going to be Gonzaga basketball. Good block out from Nickman against the larger Petrie, just holding him off. Richard, a lot is made of Gonzaga's offensive efficiency, one of the best in the country. I think right now Ken Palm has him at number two. When you look over the last decade in the NCAA tournament, normally the team that wins it all is in the top ten of both as Strother will go to the free throw line. Gonzaga nowhere near that defensively when you're talking about efficiency. However, in this year's college basketball, I contend that it's not about defensive efficiency throughout the game. It's about key stops at key moments in the game. They've proven they can do that. Yeah, I think, look, this isn't a team that Strata knocks down the free throw. It's going to morph all of a sudden into one of the top ten best defensive teams in the country. But what they can do, and you're right, we've seen that now in conference play in particular. They'll put together an eight-minute stretch. Yeah. either, in the, And that, that can happen in the first half or the second half, end of half, start of half. They've got the ability to put those stretches together, and you can win a game in that eight minutes. Raid some space, build a lead, and then just outscore people. That's been the recipe. Here's more with the basketball. Petrie now looks for Lewis to whistle away from the ball. And this will be on Gonzaga. And it's on Anton Watson. So Anton picks up his third personal. So he and Drew Timmy now with three personal fouls, 10 23 to go. So Gonzaga with some foul trouble mounting. Both Porter and Zedek have three for Pepperdine, but Watson and Timmy with three, a bigger story. Anton staying in the game right now. Lewis went right at him, and now a foul on Hickman. And that'll put Jalen Petrie at the free throw line. Oh, I gotta give you some props to that, buddy. Just keeping us up on fouls. It's so great. My buddy Zach Cunningham has been loving it. Why? He's always just like, I don't know how many fouls. It's not on the, it's not on the screen. He complains oh, about a lot of this. Oh, he wants me talking about fouls. He just fouls. says, Can Heister help me out? You know? yeah. Give Zach my phone number. I'd like I will. He and I ought to get to know each other. He would love that. I can send him like personalized text messages. Uh, yes. Hickman now out of the game. And here comes Drew Timmy. He'll be checking in. Next stop, it's just lots it up for the rebound. Man, oh man, with a collision on the way down. Here's Julian Strother. He's been quiet in the second half. Three on the way. That shot not close. He's had a couple of those here in the second half. Hunter Salas back on the floor. Good to see for Gonzaga. Here's the dunk. Anton Watson the flush. He's just so underrated as Salas. He makes cons consistently, he makes good decisions with all. That's just a simple bounce back pass. 
Lead back to nine with Timmy on the bench. They've expanded the lead with him over there. And a foul call. See Hunter here just the drive, simple play, and Watson with the strong finish doesn't let Petrie make a play on it. And that's been a story all year for Salas, just steady with the ball. We've even seen him at times uh, situationally run the point for Gonzaga just because of his ability to be solid with the ball. That's two fouls now on Malachi Smith as the team Gonzaga with six in this half. So one more and Pepperdine will shoot one and one. Alexa Ryan. Millette now with 15, but his first points of this half. Well, he did really quiet towards the end of that first half as well as Drew just <laughs> continues to go to work. No double. Uh, that's great. It, you know, it, but cold off the bench, goes to work and scores. Well, I think you do that. Get out of that. Is, Mitchell misses the three. Drew with the rebound, up at five. Gonzaga's lead is at nine. 8.50 to play. Ben Gregg in the corner. Julian is Timmy and Zedek battling, and now the switch. Julian into the corner. Three on the way from Salas off. Timmy offensive rebound, left hand good. And just Millette never able to get out of that switch out of the ball screen. Timmy just gets right in front of the rim. Great position. I love the fact that the story prior to the game, there's 50 NBA scouts here to watch Strother and Lewis go to work. And right now it's Drew Timmy leading the game with 28 Malik points. Moore. And Malik Moore dumps it through. Ben Gregg. Malachi. Boy, he's strong. Missed the shot. Rebound Mitchell. Gave it up here, Zedek. Malik into the corner. Porter's three on the way. Long. Malachi Smith with a rebound. Pepperdine has cooled off offensively. Now 9 of 24 this half. 37%. But the Zags turn it over. Porter in the open floor. Ben Gregg met him at the rim in the foul called on Ben. That'll be number two on him. Seven on Gonzaga. 7.29 to play in Malibu at 72. He switched. Now all of a sudden the national pundits are like, hey, hey, did you see what Gonzaga did to Loyola Marymount? Maybe this team is a little bit better. Quarter short on that free throw. You're not jumping on board there, Richard. You're awfully quiet. <laughs> I, I, I just went, I'm processing all the wisdom. I, I... <laughs> oh, jeez. One and two for Javon Porter. And it's 72 64. Hickman. Julian Strother. Going with two points in this half. Salas, a hard take. Timmy, another offensive rebound and put back. This is so clever at just maintaining that position. He doesn't get the post feed, sees Salas is driving, and just begins working Zedek up the lane to get position in, in the event of a miss. There's more in the corner. 12 feet away. That rimmed out. Porter had position and dumps it back through. Timmy wanting the ball. Hickman lost it out of bounds. Turnover. Seventy-four, sixty-six, six forty-two to go. Each team with nine turnovers. Pepperdine in the bonus. Pepperdine with five fouls this half. Hunter Salas on the ball. Order handoff to Millette, and now Basham to the post. Order bounce to the corner. Mitchell shot for three, rimmed out. Porter, the rebound, put back against Timmy, and Drew had to back yeah. off now. Yeah. Worried about number four. Doesn't want to pick up that fourth one. You know, interesting minutes here for Pepperdine. No Lewis on the floor. Back to six. Hunter. 
Got to his spot. Won't get the roll. And another offensive rebound for Timmy. His third this half. Unbelievable. Moore has it sent back. And now Basham. Duke Timmy 14 of 17 in this game. Moore is starting to heat up. We talked about it earlier in the game. Last four games averaging 16 a game while shooting 42% from three. Quite in the first half. There's the pocket pass. Hickman to Timmy. Great finish for Drew Timmy. Here's the lob. We'll let the catch. And the finish. How do you get a stop on this end of the floor as Mark Few calls a timeout? He's probably wondering the same thing. We need to straight. Chicago Bulls with the second best player ever. That's it. That, that's if that's the top the top of your list is Russell and Cartwright. That's uh, no, no. Epic. I'm talking. Yeah, second best player. He won championships oh, with I the hear second. It. I hear, I hear. Right, Richard Ketchup. I'm okay. slow. Sorry. Here's Timmy looking for 36. Skip pass to Salas. Hunter jump shot short. Drew looking for another rebound. Basham and now a chance for Pepperdine down by six. And again, no Lewis on the floor here. Set to check in. Porter to Mitchell. Bounce to the corner. Millett created some space but missed the shot. Contact under the rim. Porter knocked down. No whistle. This crowd is going nuts. Strother left it for Timmy. Left hand won't go. Mitchell the rebound. Back comes Pepperdine. Javon Porter with the drive. Jump hook. Two point, or actually four point game. Porter was 16. Remember, he spent much of the first half on the bench with those two fouls. He's been key here in the second half. Guarding Timmy now. Ball loose, out of play, and it's Gonzaga ball. 4 2 to play in Malibu. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Pepperdine has hit four of their last five shots. They've climbed back in, eliminated a double digit lead, and now trailed just by four. Drew Timmy with 34, 15, and 20 for the game. Strother inside. Now the runner doesn't go. Lewis. Millette, transition three. Bang! Seventy-eight, seventy-seven. They play on. Roger Bolton. Drew Timmy. Anton. Hunter to the corner. Bolton three. Bingo! Big shot. Roger Bolton. Back to a four-point lead. Mitchell just leaves Salas all alone. Check that Bolton in that corner. Here's Lewis. Basham to the corner. Porter driving on Watson. The whistle. And a foul call on Anton Watson. And that is number four on Anton. Molette's three. And then Rajir Bolton from Hunter Salas. Three for a three. You, you want to force Pepperdine to make a decision defensively. Here in the second half, they've thrown a lot of single coverage at Timmy. Can you force them to double? Porter hits the front end. And now two of three in the game. 71% on the season. A nice response from Porter here in the second half. 13 points after just five in the first half with those fouls. Porter, the freshman, of course. His older brothers, Michael Jr. and John Tay. If you're a fan of the NBA, you know all about them. Strother needs a bucket. Got the roll. Big bucket. Julian Strother. That float is just off two feet. I mean, it's but all, all but automatic for him now. His first field goal of this half, and he takes it away. Anton Watson. Bolton. The lob. Julian hit it. And they're going to take a look at this because I'm not sure this is just a common foul. 
Foul called on Maxwell Lewis. Just gonna That's run. number three on him. Just gonna run They're not going to look at foul. it. Yeah, Full common foul. Bolton's looking to throw it over the top alley -oop to Strother. Strother misses the free throw. Not a bad foul into Pepperdine. You take another look. Bolton trying to throw it up and... Lewis a second look. That's a good call. Just a common foul. One or two for Strother. Five point game. Maxwell Lewis to the rim, left hand goes. He can go either way off that dribble drive and still finish at the rim. Three point game. Timmy sets the screen. Bolton got all the way in, shot up and good. And a chance for three for Rogier Bolton. He did this in San Francisco. He's doing it again tonight. <laughs> Just was thinking that. We've seen this before from Bolton late in games. And tough finish. Porter just gets, gets turned around, doesn't see the drive coming in time. Bolton finishes it with the foul. I love the toughness of this Gonzaga team. Three point play for Roger Bolton, six point lead for Gonzaga. Two minutes to play. Gonzaga has defeated Pepperdine 44 consecutive times. 19 on this floor. Mitchell's three is short. Porter trying to earn the rebound. Loose ball, Lewis with it. Another chance for Pepperdine. This is Malek over Salas. That's a tough shot from Malek there. Looked like a force. And still knocks it down. Can Pepperdine find a stop on this end? Here's Drew Timmy. See, right away, Malek just gets, goes out there. He's not even concerned where Timmy has it on the floor. Wants him to force, force him to give it up. Seven on the shot clock. Bolton. Defense didn't come. And he hit another three. Gonzaga's lead is seven. 107 to play. Lewis the drive. Pass with the catch. And the foul. Is this on Anton Watson? If it is, it'll be number five. Roger Bolt. Another timely three. Nine points here in the second half for Bolton. 11 on the game. Just the two in the first half. Huge impact here in the final 20 minutes, particularly late here. Every indication is that this is just a common foul, but for some reason, Basham was standing alone at the free throw line. I think Gonzaga is going to come out and populate the lane now. And Basham will go to the free throw line. Is a 56% free throw shooter, two for four in the game tonight. 59.5 to go. Gonzaga up by seven. First one off from Basham. Day is done for Anton Watson. Nine points, three rebounds, two assists. Second from Basham is good. One of two for Carson Basham. Six point game. Salas with the ball. Zags will run. Here's Bolton. That'll drain some clock. Foul here to Pepperdine. Mitchell doesn't appear to be ready to do that. There's the Pope. No whistle. He got it to Strother. Here's the lob. And actually not a lob. A runner by Julian Strother goes. And it's an eight-point Gonzaga lead. Porter shot for three. Fingers were on it. Smith, home run ball. Julian Strother. He'll pull it out. Smart play there, under 30 to go. Strother got a piece of that Porter jump shot. His third block in the game as Millett commits the foul. Pepperdine's trying to get the steal up top with Mitchell. Lewis comes over to try to poke it from behind. Strother able to take advantage. Surprise, Pepperdine didn't try to take a foul earlier just to extend this game a bit. 
And that last foul will send those in attendance to the parking lot. 25.7 to go. Gonzaga's extended their lead to nine. Julian Strother now with 27. Make it 28. And now no fouls. Porter, the flush. 20.2 to go in a timeout goal. 94-86. Seen overall 2-11, and 11, but as we saw tonight, they just have a hard time closing games. They certainly have the talent to win in the West Coast Conference. It just hasn't happened for them yet. Yeah, and the young guys have all played a ton, but they still make a lot of young guy mistakes. You, know, you look at them and think to yourself, if, if Nickman gets fouled here, if they can keep the, 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 the foundation of this group together one more year, what does it look like next year? You've taken your beatings a bit in conference play, but you see it to your point, Greg, here tonight, what they can do yeah. when they put it together. And Nolan Hickman will go to the line. Nolan with three points in the game, four assists, two rebounds. And his first free throw of the night is good. And the lead is now at nine. So it looks like Gonzaga now going to push their streak against Pepperdine to 45 consecutive and 20 on this floor. Ten-point lead. Mitchell trying to get to the rim and does. Stops the clock with 8.3 to go. Bolton with the basketball, and there's a the quick foul by Millette. Stops the clock with 6.2 to go. All but academic now between Gonzaga and Pepperdine. And Richard, the Sag's going to get to 23 and 5, 12 and 2. They play USD at home on Thursday. Showdown with St. Mary's on Saturday. They run the table. They win the West Coast Conference Tournament. Their ceiling is what in the NCAA Tournament when we're talking about seeds? Well, given the state of college basketball this year, which is to say there's no great team, there's no elite player, it's going to be wide open come March. And with... Timmy and now Strother scoring the way that he could score. This is a team. And that'll do it. 97 88 our final. Gonzaga 23 and 5, 12 and 2 in the West Coast Conference.